All right, so today we're taking a deep dive into the musical journey of someone named Levon. All right, so today we're taking a deep dive into the musical journey of someone named Levon. And, uh, you know, from what I've gathered, going through these sources, it's uh, it's quite a story. It really is, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about someone who starts out in Dillon, South Carolina. Huh but ends up really kind of cutting their teeth in the DC area music scene. And all this starts at four years old, playing piano by ear. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty impressive, right? Absolutely, that's that's talent right there. So I'm curious, from the sources that we have, was there anything that pointed to early influences? Like what might have contributed to them playing by ear at four years old? You know, the sources don't really get into specific influences like that. But I think we have to consider the environment, right? Growing up in the DC area during this really vibrant time for music, it's hard to imagine that wouldn't have an impact. Right, yeah, just absorbing everything around them. Exactly, and this is when go-go music was really emerging as a force. So you've got those infectious rhythms, the call and response patterns, those are all elements that could have easily seeped into Levon's musical vocabulary. And maybe even planted the seeds for the way they approach music today. Hmm. That's a really interesting connection, and it's not just about soaking up influences, right? I mean, the sources mention Levon winning talent shows as a solo artist. That takes a certain something, that stage presence. Absolutely. It's one thing to have talent, yeah. but to then get up on stage and own it like that, especially as a young person, that shows real drive, real ambition. Yeah, and that ambition kind of leads us to the next chapter, right? They end up touring internationally with a band called The New Crew. That's a huge step, especially yeah. internationally. Amsterdam, London, that's a whole different ballgame. Yeah, and it takes a lot more than just musical talent to pull that off. There's the business side of things, the stamina, the adaptability to different cultures. Absolutely, and I think those experiences, they stay with you, you know? They shape you, not just as a musician, but as a person. For sure, those are formative years. But then they kind of shift gears again, back to the DC scene with INC Company. And it's interesting to me because while they're achieving this local success with the band, they also dive into theater. Alice in Wonderland, Porgy and Bess, don't judge a book by its cover. Wow, that's quite the range right there. It is, and it makes you wonder, what's the connection? You know, what drew them to these different forms of expression? I think it speaks to a, a desire to explore different facets of performance, right? I mean, theater requires a whole other set of skills. Mm. The vocal projection, the physicality, the ability to embody a character. Those are all things that could then feed back into their music. Yeah, it's all connected in a way, isn't it? Absolutely. It's like adding different colors to your palette. Right, and then they hit it big, at least locally, with Google Redskin. Yeah, topping the charts for a month, that's huge. What's interesting to me is how music can really capture the spirit of a time and a place. And Gogo Redskin seems to have done that for DC. It definitely tapped into something, it resonated with people. And you're right, music can be like a time capsule, capturing the energy of a moment. It's like a soundtrack to people's lives. So we've seen all these different phases in Levon's career, and now they seem to be focused on creating multimedia hit songs. That's so interesting, isn't it? They're a musician, a songwriter, a vocalist, a producer, a recording artist. It's like they've taken all these experiences and kind of merged them into this new approach. It's very much in line with how the music industry is evolving. It's not just about the traditional path anymore, it's about connecting directly with your audience and using all these different avenues to do so. Yeah, and Levon seems to be right there on the cutting edge. I mean, I have to say, even with all this information, I feel like we've just scratched the surface. Oh, absolutely, there's so much more to explore. And that's the exciting part, right? To think about where they started, all that they've accomplished, it makes you wonder, what kind of music are they creating today? What stories are they telling? I don't know about you, but I'm definitely gonna be checking out more of Levon's music after this. Me too, me too. I'm really intrigued to see where their journey has taken them. Yeah, and I think that's a great place to leave it, right? With a sense of curiosity, a desire to learn more. So for everyone listening, I encourage you, dive into Levon's music and see where it takes you. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive and we'll catch you on the next one.